Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It's a nice, quiet, breezy afternoon and I'm just kind of waiting to see what the wind is going to blow in. We got some clouds coming in. Um, I actually wouldn't mind getting a little bit of a rain. I think today's the warmest day uh, since I've been here. But it's still, I didn't break a sweat. Or not yet, I'm gonna go do some yoga here in a little bit after I uh, finish this video. Um, you know, this one just kind of came to me. I was uh, listening to some Bob Marley uh, a few days back, maybe like even a week ago. I think I wrote down, I wrote this down originally about a week ago. And um, it's an old song that I've heard a million times, but I just kind of got thinking about it in a different way when I was listening to it. Um, and I, I thought about how, how I could make it, how it, it could apply to this lifestyle or this way of eating or knowing when you've gotten to what's right for you in your lifestyle or in your way of eating. And it's like, who feels it knows it. You know, it's like, it's back about tuning into your body and listening to your body. Um, and one, as I always say, when I do the videos and I talk about listening to your body, that come like you know take that with a grain of salt a little bit because um yeah you got under you know i've talked about before it's kind of a little bit more knowledge in the beginning a little bit less listening to your body because until you start cleaning out your body changing the way you eat and get you know transitioned over to this um to a plant-based lifestyle um, you know, you're not going to have that. You're not going to know what we're talking about. You're not going to have any of that intuition. And there's always like, you have to use some logic in there and you always want to be studying. You always want to be learning things. But in general, when you feel it, you know it. And, um, I think you have to feel it to understand. And I think that's the reason that so many people struggle, um, on the lifestyle or on what they're trying to do, because it's theoretical so far. I mean, you hear people talking about it. You see people getting results. You see people losing weight. You see people being more energetic. You see clean, clearer skin. You see brighter eyes. But that's all out there somewhere. You haven't experienced it. Um, you haven't felt it. So like I, like I say, that's the best way to put it. It's theoretical. It's a concept out there. But it's a concept uh, that's foreign to you because you haven't experienced it. And the reason I say that is, and I mean, yeah, everybody's different and there's circumstances, blah, 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 blah. But I think once you've really felt it and you've gotten it, you're not going to let it go. Now, okay, what am I talking about here? Um, I'm not necessarily saying, you know, like I say, circumstances can come up, things can change, whether it has to do with where you're living, your living circumstances, responsibilities, money, um, climate what have you but let me just put it like this for me it, i could i could see totally getting into situ a, a situation or situations down the road or maybe going and staying there somewhere for a while that i wanted to visit and it was very hard and it's just almost impossible to do you know high raw as high raw as i do right now so i'm not saying like okay i'm gonna always you know because it would be kind of confining if i kind of like locked it in my head that i had to you know have exactly what i have right now at my fingertips access to all the time um but i'm not going to go too far down the ladder in my the for myself i mean when i'm talking about going down the ladder this not as good a choice as another choice Totally speaking for me, like I say, this is the experiment channel. This is just um, reporting the data on things that I try on myself. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've felt it now. I've felt high as you can get. I've felt the best of the best, and um, I'm not going to let it go. So there's certain allowances I will make. You know, I go back to the States to visit my mother. I eat cooked food when I'm there, and I don't make that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. You know, it's not, I don't. I don't have the same energy, you know, following up a little bit on that one. I'm talking about uh, why I do a, a low fat raw vegan diet. I'm just saying, and this is just uh, the feedback of, from how I feel. I feel the best when I'm eating fully raw, no doubt about it. And when I'm getting a nice variety of uh, fruits, um, when I'm getting the, when I'm getting plenty of bananas for the bulk, when I'm getting plenty of like mangoes or uh, papaya or pineapple for a higher water content fruit, and I've got my greens going, and I've got, you know, I'm eating about 10% fat or less, sometimes a little more. I mean, I'm just feel, I can feel it, and I don't ever want to let that go. 
now, like I say, I have a floor. I have floors that I don't go below this, you know, if I'm traveling. Yeah, there's, there's convenience issues, but I'm only going to go so far. Um, I don't see, you know, if I get in a situation, I mean, I'd like to go back to Europe, spend some time there. Maybe I go back to Greece. Maybe I go visit some friends in Spain. Maybe I'm just not going to be able to eat 100% raw all the time, but I will be a high carb vegan. I'm pretty sure that anywhere I'm able, I'm, I go, that I will be able to follow a high carb vegan lifestyle. And I probably would, you know, like I say, I've gone so far down the rabbit hole and I really um, feel like I thrive in the tropics because of the, you know, because of the fruit, because of the, the vitamin D connection, being able to get adequate vitamin D year round um, and just a number of reasons. I think I will probably be based in the tropics or the subtropics for the rest of my life, barring something that I can't, um, you know, that I can't predict. But um, yeah, you've just, listen, it's kind of like, and, and, and I'm just gonna try to relate it like this. Like I say, I'm always trying to crack the code, like what might make it relatable to somebody that gets them over that next plateau, over that next hump. And it's just like, you're gonna have to suffer a little bit, I think. If you're coming from a standard American diet, you've been abusing your body for many, many, many years, you might, it's not, you're probably, unless you do, I, I could probably orchestrate a transition that was just like, you know, where you could just, it was just so detailed that you would go through it with the least amount of pain. But the average person, if you're, when you're transitioning in, you're gonna have to feel some pain. You're gonna have to feel a little detox. You're gonna have to deal with cravings. You're gonna have to deal with them physically and psychologically, things that you were used to eating. Um, I liken it to smoking. You know, if anybody out there can relate, once you're on the other side, it's like, you know, once you're on the other side, you look back and you almost can't even imagine the struggle. But until you've gotten it out of your system, the cigarettes just are always going to pull at you. They're always pulling at you. You go back and you have one, or I'm going to wean myself, or I just slipped and had one. But as long, until you get that nicotine completely out of your system and you feel what it's like to be a non-smoker, you're never going to quite get it until you get it. Now, once you're on the other side, like me, you know, it's like cigarettes. Oh, my God, that's the stupidest uh, thing you can do to, in life for your health. But I was doing it. So, I mean, I'm not saying that in a judgmental way because I walked around lighting one butt off another, especially during some uh, few stressful situations and periods in my life that I went through about six or seven years ago. But, um, yeah, it's just like that. Once I got, <clears throat> once I fully got on the other side and really got that stuff out of me and started just feeling good in general, there's no going back. And that's the way it is with the food. Once you, listen, if you've gone back, you've never really felt it. You may have thought you felt it, but you never really felt it because I just can't imagine once you've really gotten it, once you really, really have that feeling, once you really are rocking at that level of letting it go. I mean, that just wouldn't make any sense. So, yeah, in a sense, like, uh, you've got to feel this thing. You can't just read about it in a book. You can't listen, you know, it's not like on the... 2500th video that you've watched all of a sudden voila you're going to gain enlightenment on how to do this lifestyle you got to feel it and um you know you're not going to feel it until you get the garbage out of your lifestyle forget the raw versus cooked whether you're doing raw to four starch solution how your methods are um you, you know once you get down once you've done this thing for a while you can get down into the into the details and worry about that a little bit more but you're going to have so much result. You're going to get so much results just from going to that standard American American diet to a plant-based diet that you're going to get if you will do it and you will work your way through your plan and you will not keep falling back. And listen, nobody's everybody wants to you know forgive them. Yeah, forgive yourself, but you're not getting it out of your system on all these cheats, all these falling backs all these, um, you know, going off the rails, you're not getting the bad stuff out of your system, which is delaying you getting that feeling that you need to get to lock the lifestyle in and to thrive. So anyhow, you got to feel it. Hope you guys like this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and I hope you're, and I hope you're having a wonderful week. I had to pop back in and do a little, a little quick little clip again because I had a little bit of technical difficulties at the end of that video. Still getting the hang of this new iPhone, but it's all good. Love you guys. Peace.